Welcome to Pat's Picks. This is the $20 Challenge. Thank you so much for coming by. Today is going to be a quick recap of week five. And uh, not my favorite week, but that's all right. We're going to come back stronger next week. And uh, we're going to get some gains. So week five, 21 trades, five green, 12 red, four blue, minus 40%. And that counts up 50%. You can see all the trades there. And uh, in the first three days were actually 10 of those 12 red days. So I really tightened things up at the end. I was getting a little out of control. Got got a handle on it. And uh, that's all part of all part of the game. So, um, you know, I hope people have learned from those red days of mine. I know I learned from them, and um, just uh, rules are not meant to be broken. So um, whenever I have a red day, it's usually no coincidence that I broke some rules. So, um, you know, I hope that people can learn from my mistakes. So anyways, uh, without further ado, let's dive right into this. This recap of the week, you can see my account right here. The past week, not a good week, by far my worst week. That's all right, though. Come back stronger next week. And the count's up 50%. You can see I have this other page here I made, so it's kind of more of the days you can see all together. And the transaction history. If you're new here, I'm 100% transparent. Um, you won't see many people, if any others at all, I'm not sure, that will actually show their transaction history. Uh, it's much easier to lie and just post screenshots of the green days or use a paper trading account. And uh, I will never do that. I will always be transparent. You'll always see exactly how I've got my account to where it is, red or green. Um, as painful as those red days are, I will share them. I just hope this helps people because uh, it's hard to learn out there when people are just lying and not being transparent. I know it was hard for me. I've been trading since 2018. It took many years to gather all the knowledge and uh, waste money on courses and stupid stuff like that. You know, it shouldn't be that hard. shouldn't be that complicating. And, uh, you know, just trying to keep it quick and simple here. So if you have any questions, I do kind of go over things fast. And I'm happy to help if you have some specific questions or, or not, whatever it is. There's no dumb questions. So, um, you know, if I go over something quick, I'm sorry. Um, just please ask and I'm happy to help. So, Anyways, without further ado, I'm going to dive into a quick market analysis, uh, what I think is going to happen for the week. And you can see above my head here, up there, there is the weekly chart. And you can actually see when I unhide the, the lines here, we broke the downtrend. And so we're almost out of the bear market technically. I think we're about 19% uh, the SPY is, and it needs to be 20% um, from the bottom for it to be technically not uh in the bear market anymore so we're hovering right on that so we're gonna have some strong resistance in this area i expect volatility hopefully there's volatility because that means opportunity so that's the weekly and if you look at the daily it's kind of zoomed in a little bit more and on the left side over here is the hour chart so you can see the daily is just kind of zoomed out more and what i expect for this week coming up is a range anywhere between around 405 maybe even 400 to up to 430 so we'll see what happens um you can see right now we are in this uptrend since the start of january um, we consolidated for a couple weeks right here in december uh toward late december towards christmas and then start of the new year we basically a nice uptrend and that's where this is right here um but the past two days we are in this slight downtrend so i drew this downward channel right here within the upward channel and we'll see how this happens so if we come back down here uh, and break this uptrend i do expect us to come and retest 405 or 400 pretty quickly um, but if we continue we could see a nice move up to 428 and also i have these blue lines here this is a gap that there's back in august so last time we broke 418 or sorry last time we hit 428 it was back in august and um, there was a gap from 422.17 or 18 to 423.71 um, that needs to be filled. So I do expect that to be filled if we have upward pressure. And so that'll be fun. So, and if we break 428, 430 is a quick move from there. So uh, anything can happen on there if we have the volume. And um, hopefully we do. That could be exciting. So there could be some good opportunity this week as the market is kind of figuring out exactly what they want to do with the information that's came out. And, uh, should be fun. So anyways, I hope that helps anyone watching. If you have questions on how I draw these lines, um, you know, it's it's very simple. 
Um, you know, it don't you don't have to overcomplicate it. You can see it just kind of bounces around. And uh, I just draw it from the bottom in this area and the tops over here. And I uh, just kind of expand it out. You don't have to overcomplicate it. Some people will try to make it seem like the way they do it is the best or whatever. But you can see it's really not that complicating, you know. You don't have to pay a bunch of money to see someone's secrets on how they draw their trend lines. So, anyways, you can also see up here, Bitcoin is down slightly. And also, futures are down 0.3%. So, currently the market looks like it's going to open up about flat. Um, this video comes out at 5 in the morning, so market will already be there. But if you do watch this before um, pre-market's over, you know, you might have a better idea of what you think the market can do um, based off of this analysis. So I hope this helps anyone watching. And uh, yeah, so anyways, I will see you tomorrow. I hope you stay happy and healthy.